You can access the Bulk Bond Lodgement web service from the Bulk Bond Lodgement web service page on the RTA website. Click on the Start Now button to begin. Here, you'll see the terms and conditions for using RTA web services. Click on the checkbox to agree. Next, you'll need to authenticate your identity using QGov. Enter your QGov username and password. Once logged in, you can begin using the Bulk Bond Lodgement web service. You'll first need to answer some basic questions about the properties you manage. And there are helpful hints to guide you along the way if you're unsure of any of the answers. Make sure you check your details and enter a contact phone number. Next, enter your RTA ID and the main email address that your organisation or joint lesser partnership uses to interact with the RTA. Next, it's important that you read these instructions as it tells you how to navigate this web service. You'll then start at the bond increase page where you can input any bond increases you want to add to your bulk bond lodgement. At the bottom of this page, you'll see a section which calculates the number of bond increases and bond lodgements that have been added to the web service. As you continue, this section will calculate the total amount owed for the bulk bond lodgement. To add a bond increase, click on the Add Bond Increase button on this page. Enter the bond number for the bond you want to top up. Check the details of the bond and the bond contributors to ensure they're correct. Then enter the new rent and bond amounts. You can choose to split the bond increase equally between the contributors or you can allocate different amounts to each contributor, which is what we'll do here. If the tenancy end date has changed, you can also update it here. If the RTA doesn't have an email address on record for any of the bond contributors, you'll be asked to enter it here. Each bond contributor must have a unique email address to be able to use this web service. Enter the email addresses accurately to ensure they receive the required notifications. When you've entered all the necessary details for a bond increase, you'll reach a summary page which has all the details you've just entered. Check that these are correct and use the edit functionality if you need to make any changes. You can print a copy of the bond increase or save it as a PDF on this page. Once that's done, add your bond increase to the bulk bond lodgement. As you go through the web service, messages will occasionally pop up, reminding you that the bulk lodgement will be deleted if it's not submitted within 10 days of adding the first bond to the batch. This is in line with legislative requirements, which state that a bond must be lodged by the managing party within 10 days of receiving payment from the bond contributors. Once you've added all bond increases to the bulk lodgement, click on the continue button. This is the new lodgements page. Click on the add new lodgement button to add a bond to the bulk lodgement. You'll then need to add the property details. In this case, we're going to submit a lodgement for a rooming accommodation rental. The process for lodging a bond is exactly the same as when it's lodged through the RTA single bond lodgement web service. Once you've completed the lodgement, it will be added to the bond lodgement summary page. To make things easier for caravan and rooming accommodation providers, you can click on the add button to lodge a bond for another room or dwelling at the same address. Once you've added all your bond lodgements and bond increases, click on the continue button to go to the bulk bond lodgement summary page. 
Check all your bonds and bond increases to make sure the information is correct. Remember that you can use the edit button if you need to go back and change anything. Once you've checked all the details are correct, click the submit button to finalize and submit your bulk bond lodgement. After you've submitted your bulk bond lodgement to the RTA, you'll be taken to this page where you can choose to print or save a summary of the bulk bond lodgement using the print my summary button. You can then proceed to payment. A BPAY code will be generated and you can use this to pay for the bulk bond lodgement. Once payment has been received and processed by the RTA, you'll receive an acknowledgement of rental bond for the bulk bond lodgement.